When the Great War ended, Janet Harbinson was a respectable woman who had two children and a husband who ran a whiskey distillery. Janet, or Nettie, as she was known, was what they called well Kent in her corner of the highlands of Scotland. Janet had grown up there, amidst the fields of barley, the clear air, and the rivers which bisected the countryside. A whiskey business built on a hill, beside clear, pure water at a place called McCallum. Means about spindy 200 weight. 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 Go, go, quick, quick, quick. Let's go. That's 150 weight. Last tracker, 200 weight. Last tracker. Dorothy Kincardine, 200 weight. Dorothy Kincardine, 200 weight. Last tracker, 200 weight. They were part of each other's lives. 40-year-old teenagers, some said. Life was good, but his death was sudden. to hurry up and make the decision. To sell the business? Aye. They say it has to be a man runs it. And what do you say? If you decide not to accept these offers, surely you can see that a man should be in charge. Be sensible, Nettie. I know and love this place. I can add, subtract, buy and sell. What else is there? A woman sits where a man can stand, but we obtain the same relief. you to come by. You have not lived a day until you have done something for someone who can never repay you. 
It's the new managing director's motto. I'm going to run the business. Are you sure? It's so soon. Truth is, I'm not sure, but it's what I'm doing. Are you not a bit too well-worn to be the new boss? It's never too late to be what you might have been. And so Nettie took the reins and kept the family business going. This year is going to be a further seven shillings a ton. But we'll accelerate bottling if I can get Highland to take another. And the casks are from Harris in Spain. Whole, not broken into staves. And the printers want to use the new label. Nettie Harbinson declined every offer to sell the business and simply made fine whiskey for the rest of her life. It was never too late. At auction, almost a hundred years later, a bottle of the Macallan distilled in 1926 by Janet Harbinson and surely touched with her spirit, became the most valuable single bottle of wine and spirit in the world. She would have been proud.